Okay, guys, we got a short par four here. 257.1 to that front pin. Wind's helping a little bit. So if we can get within 30 yards or so of that flag, it's a decent chance to rely on our short game. Little right, and there's some little trees over there. Little wet out here. 26 yards. Not bad, but we have this little tree, so we can't hit it high. Just gonna hit a little pitching wedge, try to one bounce it in that rough. Okay, not bad. Oh, <laughs> that actually hit the edge of the cup. It hit the metal. Never had that happen to me before. The question for today is how important is accuracy to you? Because the brand I'm about to review today can be traced back to another name that was hired to design and manufacture lasers for the US government. So if you guys watch my video from the Chicago Golf Show, you remember Cobalt Golf. I shot some distances and I was really impressed by the display. Well, laser tech is really the brains behind Cobalt. Cobalt has been around since 2021, but laser tech has been around since 1985. They also designed lasers for NASA, but you guys aren't here for that. You're here to see these two awesome rangefinders they sent me. So the packaging here, nothing too fancy. Nice, simple look. This is all pretty sturdy material here. And this hook for your golf bag is gonna be a lot better and a lot stronger than like a carabiner clip. This is gonna hook fast and pretty strong. So a lot went into this. This is not just the regular case you see with most range finders. These range finders can be submerged in water for a half an hour. So guys, now I'm gonna go out in the course with this Q6 slope range finder. This Q4 slope, just like the Q6, waterproof. So while we play a couple holes, Bushnell Tor V5, 185 to the blue pin, and the Cobalt, Q6 slope, 183.6. Which one's more accurate? It's hard to say. 158 with the bush nail again. It took me about four times of pushing the button to get that distance. It actually, the first time I pushed it, gave me the 185 yardage that I hit back there. 156.3. Set a six hybrid. That's right. Way right. I just actually thought this ball was on the fringe. I just brought a putter. This would be a good shot for the hybrid probably. Let's see if we can get a putter on it. We'll take the hybrid next time. Bushnell says this is 367, hit it about three times, 366 on the number with the Cobalt Q6 slope. To the flag, Bushnell 163, Cobalt 162.5. Point five. There's a sign on the next tee box. Bushnell, I'm having a little trouble hitting that sign. I hit one thing that was 229. I don't know if that was the tree and then something was 249. So 247.8 with the Cobalt, 
to that tree branch that it was hidden. Uphill, all carry. We're going for hybrid. Be a tad left. Oh, tad right. Lost it in the air. Okay, we have a big sloping putt here. That bottom left corner is one of the toughest pin placements. We have to play this one out well right of the hole. It's time for the big reveal. I will admit, I've had this rangefinder in this water for a little over 30 minutes. It's wet. You can probably see it's wet. It's dripping. Well, first we'll hit this right here in front of me, 35.5. Say what the Q6 slope says, 35.2. Pretty impressive. This rangefinder has been in the water for 30 minutes. Some steps down at a bridge at the end of the golf course here. I hit those steps at 410. Kurt just got in the way, but we'll see if we can get him out of the way. No, maybe I'll move to the side a little bit. 411 with the Q6 slope. Also considering that I had to move a little bit because that cart would move out of the way. Now size wise, the Q4 is almost the exact same size as this Bushnell Tour V5. The Q6 slope, a little bit bigger footprint than the Bushnell. So the Q4 is just a tad lighter than this Tour V5. And the Q6 is definitely a little heavier, a little more weighted, a little more solid than this Bushnell Tour V5. It's a good looking range finder and it feels good in your hands. If you look at the Q4, this button here, it changes the display from black to red. You can see it light up red if you have it in slope mode. Everything's pretty simple with this. The Q6, again, a pretty simple display, except we have the smart switch. This makes the screen adjust for brightness, lighter and darker. The slope switch on. So guys, another cool thing about this Q6 is this eyepiece here is retractable. So you can get it a little bit further away from your face or closer to your face however you want it. This focus knob is really hard to turn, which actually could be a positive or a negative. Someone gets a hold of your rangefinder, they're not gonna just make a mistake and turn this knob out of focus. Even someone with not a whole lot of muscle mass like me can turn it, so it shouldn't be a problem. When you put it in slope mode, you just get one number. You get the number and you get the degree of slope. So if it's one degree uphill or one degree downhill, you just get that total number of 212 yards. You don't get 212 and then 207 as the real number. You just get the adjusted slope number. So if you're someone that needs to look at two numbers, for whatever reason, you may see that as a negative. I see it as a positive. All I want to see is one number on the screen. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review of the Q4 slope and the Q6 slope range finders if you're interested in more information on either of these range finders i'll put a link in the description and if you missed my review of sub 70 click the video to my right and if you like the video like comment subscribe until next time mr shore hitter out